right, we're going to continue our study of converting units of measure. So yesterday we looked at how to display data on a line plot, and today we're going to talk about units of time. So we're thinking about seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. So one minute equals 60 seconds. One hour equals 60 minutes. One day equals 24 hours. One week equals seven days. One year, 12 months. One year, 52 weeks. And do you know how many days are in a year? 365. Good. So... If I'm trying to find out how many weeks there are in five years, I know that one year is 52 weeks. So I would have to multiply 52 by 5. And I would get 260. Please don't talk. So there are 260 weeks in five years. All right. So if I want to find the number of hours in 10 weeks, First, I've got to figure out how many days there are in those weeks. So there are seven days in one week. So in 10 weeks, there would be 70 days. So because there are 70 days in 10 weeks, and I know that there are 24 hours in each day, I would then multiply 24 times 70 to get 1,680 hours. Okay, okay so... It was asking us about hours to weeks, okay? So first I had to figure out how many days there were in 10 weeks, which would be 70 days. And then in each of those days, there are 24 hours. So that's why we did 24 times 10. Well, no, not not exactly, but, but, but close. Scientifically... It's not exact. Mathematically, we're going to go with it. But yeah. In just a few minutes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so find the equivalent amount of time. I'm trying to go from two minutes to seconds. How many seconds are there in one minute? In one minute. Oh, in one minute? 60. 60. Y'all got ahead of y'all self. So I would need to multiply two times 60 minutes. You did. Okay, four days. So I'm going from days to minutes. So do I know how many minutes there are in a day? Mm. No, I don't. I know how many minutes are in an hour. And I know how many hours are in a day. There are 24 hours in a day. Yes, that's going to be step one. 60 minutes in each hour and there are 24 hours in a day. Zero times four is zero. Six times four is 24. Placeholder zero. And then zero times two is zero. Six times two is 12. Add up these partial products. Okay, so 1,440 minutes in one day. But now I've got to figure out how many there are in four days. What? The like this? Okay. So let's talk about that first. Actually, let's talk about Jada's question first, and then I'll get yours. All right. So you said where did I get the the sixty? Because. Go ahead. Wait a minute, let me answer Jada's question real fast, and okay. then we'll get you, okay? So she was asking, where did I get the 60 from? So I'm going from days to minutes, right? I don't know how many minutes there are in one day, so, but I do know that there are 60 minutes in one hour, okay? So that's where the 60 came from. How many hours in a day? And then... Yep, there are 24 hours in a day. So I needed to find out how many minutes there are in a day. 
So this is how many minutes there are in a day. All right, Colton, now explain that to Charlie. All right, so what Miss Moore did, oh gosh, what did Moore do? What did Miss, Miss Moore, she put her placeholder zero, and then she multiplied zero times two, and then she put the zero down there, and then she multiplied six times two, and then that's how she got the 12. Yep. Um, okay, I got that now. So I have to multiply both top numbers times the 4, and that's where I got the 240. Yeah. Then I have to put a placeholder 0 down, and then I multiply both top numbers times the 2. So what you're saying is first you multiply by the two back numbers, then you multiply by the two front numbers. Well, you multiply the top numbers by the back number, then you multiply the top numbers by the front number. Does that make sense, sort of come? Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll take, i tell you what, before we do testing, we'll, we'll review some of this stuff. Okay? So, zero times, four, oh, and by the way, now that I know how many minutes there are in one day, now I can find how many minutes there are in four days. Zero times four, zero. Four times four, 16. Four times four, 16, plus one. 17. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5,760. That is a lot of minutes. It's a lot of minutes. Okay. Is that a. So today you are going to be converting between seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, years. We will be using multiplication to help us. 